currently on my way to Bram Racing in Castleford to have an alignment done on the Alpha, on the Mito. Um, it's been, must be about two years now since I last had the alignment done on it. Um, yeah, two years of track days, and don't get me wrong, I know we didn't do a lot of track days last year with the current situation, but yeah, I've had two years of smashing up curves, basically driving it on the limit. So I want to make sure that the alignment hasn't gone out. Um, also, as well, fitted them new bottom arms on the last vlog. Um, so they could potentially have had an impact on the amount of camber uh, caster that I'm running. So I just want to get it checked out and see what we are running at the moment. Um, I can't see I can't see being massively different to what I had before. Um, and here's a sheet with the specs on uh, from my last alignment a couple of years ago. Um, as you can see, I'm running about six minutes of, well, I say about, I'm running six minutes of towing on the front, which I may get changed to tow out, because whereas the towing on the front is making the car feel really, really stable, especially under braking, um, I've been reading that on a front wheel drive track car, you should be running even neutral or tow out so I might get to change it and just see what see what it feels like um, an update for you on the track day situation I'm supposed to be doing Croft on the 22nd of March that's now been cancelled because of uh, the restrictions that are currently still in place in the UK but I have booked Croft again for the 2nd of April, I think it is. 2nd of April? Yeah, 2nd of April, Good Friday. Um, so it's only a week later, so I'm not going to wait that long. But also... Brown well, Racing Tuning Specialists may not be open yet when you arrive. Thank you. Uh, but... On the day after that, on the 3rd of April, I have also got a track day at Blighton Park. So I'm doing two track days in two days. So I can see what the adjustments, if I do have a bit of toe out put in, uh, uh, how they make it feel on the two track days. And if I like it, great, I can stick with it. If not, then I can just get to put it back to how it was before. I do like the way that the car drives at the moment, but could always go a little bit better I suppose but we'll see what they say we'll uh, uh, yeah see what they say see what they recommend and take it from there really I've not actually been to Bram Racing since they moved units so I'm not 100% certain where they are but I'm sure we'll find them with the help of Google down here on left, I think. I think. Oh, I messed up. No, well, they're over there. That's their, uh, that's their place. Gate's shut. a little bit early so <laughs> well, yeah we're here well I was gonna try and vlog it for you up on the lift but as you can hear there's excruciating loud noise and I'm not actually allowed in because of COVID all oh, right that's gone yeah as I was saying I was gonna try and vlog it but I'm not actually allowed in because of COVID regulations so I've told them a rough idea what we're gonna set it to they are gonna give me a little bit of tow out. Uh, they recommend it. Well, there's a guy here that drives an EP3 and he recommends it, that's why he runs on track. So, I'm gonna try that. 
Yeah, and I'll get back to you when I've got the car back and see what specs they, they've got it set at. So a bit of a video of nothing this unfortunately because I couldn't go in uh, and watch them do it. However, I can show you the uh, alignment specs of what it's set to. Uh, so you all know. And something else as well, like go and get an alignment done on your car because I thought we was running um, six minutes of towing on the front which according to my old spec is what I had it set to last time I had an alignment done on it what, about 20 months ago now um, yeah I'm pretty sure it was set at six minutes of towing and so anyway we fitted these bottom arms and by rights they shouldn't have made a difference to the toe, uh, they shouldn't really made a difference to anything because they were just uniball bottom arms with the same specification as OEM spec. However, they put it on the alignment, on the uh, Hunter aligner and printed me off a spec sheet and I was running 53 minutes of toe in on each side of the front axle. So, in other words, that's a bloody lot. Um, well, yeah, it's nearly two degrees of towing on the, on the front axle. So I don't really know what's happened there. I don't. I'm guessing it's the bottom arms that have fitted. Uh, they've adjusted it. But anyway, so yeah, we went from there, and they have gone and uh, put me some tow out. In. I've got five minutes on either side, uh, give me a total of ten minutes across the front axle. And initial thoughts are it doesn't feel, don't get me wrong, I know I'm only trundling around town at 30 40 mile an hour, but I was expecting it to be squirrely and all over the road because that's what I've been told, but it feels fine. It feels, I won't, I won't say it feels normal, but it, feel, it feels pointy, it feels sharp when you make a slight adjustment on your on your steering angle but it doesn't feel that bad to drive at all so yeah I'm happy with that and for 45 quid to have your alignment checked and set up I don't think that's bad value at all it's pointless going and sticking 500 pound components on to knock your alignment out and you not realise and yeah you think that they've had a negative effect on it and you've spent money and you're not happy with it so yeah go and get an alignment done that'd be my advice um somewhere else as well i've I, to be honest with you i forgot i'd done i forgot i'd fitted the rear camber plates uh so yeah i'm now running over two degrees of negative camber on the rear which is good but overall it's yeah I'm happy with it I'm happy with the alignment like I said it's well, been well worth 45 quid um, so yeah go and get it done see it squeaking uh, hopefully when I take the car on track uh, it should feel nice and lively now with the bit of toe out on the front um, yeah, I've not got long to wait for that, thankfully. Hopefully, anyway, hopefully all track days will resume on the 29th, which, as it's looking like at the minute, it should, should do. Um, so, yeah, I think that'll be the next vlog on the 29th, at, uh, 29th on the 2nd of April at Croft. So, yeah, I'll leave it. Anyway, take care.